In this video, we're going to review one of the best parental control apps, Custodio, to help you decide if it's the best fit for you and your family. We'll look at the key features of this app, including website filtering, call and text monitoring, and of course, what every parent's worried about, screen time limits. We'll also talk about the pros and cons of this app, Custodio's customer support, the setup process, and of course, if it's going to break the bank. And if you want to try Custodio out for yourself, just click the link below for a discount code and to support the channel at no additional cost to you, which I certainly appreciate. There's a brief free trial for Custodio's premium service. That means you can try the app's bells and whistles before you decide to open your wallet for it. Let's start at the beginning to talk about how easy or complicated it is to set up Custodio. Now, when it comes to setup, we did find Custodio's process to be a bit tedious. Let's start with the cons of setting up Custodio. First, there are two versions of the app that need to be installed separately, one for your device and then one for your kids. Kind of annoying, but pretty standard among parental control apps. Custodio's monitoring feature won't begin to monitor the apps on your child's device until they're open for the first time. That means you'll need to open up each and every app on the device to complete the entire setup unless you want to wait until your child opens up every app. Custodio will send you an alert as soon as this happens. Another con related to setup is that you can only add one child and one device at a time. Rules and guidelines for each child and device must be set up separately. Despite the speed bump, Custodio does a lot of the setup work for you to block harmful content. As soon as you download the app, or apps, Custodio restricts access to most harmful websites, including those containing drugs, alcohol, profanity, and mature content. We'll dive into this shortly in our monitoring section. Another thing that I liked about Custodio is that it provides parents with tips and warnings throughout the setup process. These pop-ups alert you to features that you might have missed otherwise. One note, if you want to customize screen time or other restrictions for each day, as opposed to having each day be identical, you'll have to do so manually. There's no quick setting for weekdays versus weekends like other parental control apps. As we move on to our monitoring section, let me alert those who are Android users. You should download the Custodio app directly from Custodio's website using the discount link from the video description below and not from the Google Play Store. You'll see this message explaining that call and text monitoring does not work if you download the Google Play Store version. Now that we have Custodio up and running, let me point out some of my favorite features. First, Custodio allows you to set up certain categories to alert or block, allowing you to monitor and restrict content as needed. Of course, you can always change the setting with just a click of a button. I will say that I'm impressed with the level of customization that Custodio offers with web filtering. You can set restrictions or alerts for nearly 30 types of websites. And you can choose to block certain websites by entering their URL in Custodio's dashboard. The web filtering feature holds up pretty well in testing, but it's not 100% fail-proof. For example, the app automatically blocks sites with alcohol content. But when I searched for cocktail recipes, I was able to find them so long as they were on a food blog, like Food and Wine, and not a website exclusively about alcohol, like Difford's Guide. This is a flaw in the monitoring functionality, and I can only assume there are other loopholes as well. No app is perfect, and neither is Custodio's screen time filtering. If your kid is tech savvy enough, and let's face it, they probably are. They can easily circumvent the time restrictions by changing the time zone on their device. Also, email monitoring is not available through Custodio. Custodio's location tracking features are excellent though. By clicking on your child's timeline, you get a minute by minute record of where your child has been, complete with full addresses. This is digital parenting at its best. Although I would like to see place names like Dunkin' Donuts in lieu of addresses. I can't really critique Custodio's location tracking it works well. The one thing I can complain about is Custodio's search engine feature. While it claims to monitor certain search terms and website activities, I found this feature to be inconsistent at best. While the activity report shows google.com for instance, it fails to provide specific websites or URLs visited. For this reason, I feel like this feature is useless and might just be a sales tactic. So when it comes to monitoring, I rate Custodio highly. It's not perfect, but it's good. If you want to trial it for yourself, use the link below. Custodio does have some additional features that other parental control apps do lack. One of these is text monitoring. If your child doesn't use text or iMessage, and if they communicate 
with friends through social media, well, then this might not be useful. And I know many of you watching want robust text monitoring and Custodio delivers. Custodio's call monitoring feature is also nice. You can even block certain numbers if you want to restrict who your child is communicating with. Another feature that I'm a fan of for those of you with younger children is the panic button, which allows your child to contact you instantly in case of an emergency. Once the panic button is activated, you'll receive an instant message, which includes your child's location. Needless to say, this feature could be a lifesaver if a child finds themselves in an accident or a potential dangerous situation. One more big plus, despite being one of the more feature-rich apps that I've reviewed, even the complete version of the Custodio app did not drain my battery like I expected it to, which I consider a big plus. So thanks for that, Custodio. Custodio's customer service is on par with most parental control apps, and that is to say it's average. Custodio does offer a large database of support articles on their website, meaning it's likely that you can troubleshoot most issues on your own. Still, it would be nice if there was a live chat feature. If, however, you do find yourself in a pickle, you can fill out a support ticket, but only if you're a premium member. Phone support is available as part of Custodio's Care Plus plan, which you'll have to pay more if you're a basic subscriber. Overall, not the worst, not the best in terms of customer support service. Custodio isn't the cheapest parental control app on the market. Even so, the basic plan does not break the bank at $54.95 per year. That's less than $5 per month. This basic plan gets you all the fundamentals, web filtering, app monitoring, and screen time limits on up to five devices. The premium or complete plan, like Custodio calls it, will cost you almost double that at $99.95 a year. For this added subscription fee, you get to customize daily web activity for your child, set time limits on games and apps, and use Custodio on unlimited devices. While no app can replace mom or dad, Custodio does a pretty good job of being a great wingman. And our favorite part of the app is that it can be customized to your parenting style, meaning you can be as strict or as lenient as you want while still keeping track of your child's digital activities. Now, to get started, click on the link below to get your exclusive discount code. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.